Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Shores of Loki. Now I covered this game on my channel a couple of months back and when I jumped into it I thought this game was something very magical, something very special. And the developers, they have not disappointed. Several months later I am jumping back in. We now have voiceovers, we now have additional puzzles to complete, it's had some graphical updates, it's had a ton a ton of new things into it and it is so cool it's amazing how i could step into this game originally and have my mind blown and come back to it several months later and have my mind blown all over again something really special here and i can't wait to show you guys some of this so let's go ahead and jump right on into it check it out hmm i don't I think that this was the opening scenery before. Sometimes. Sometimes I can feel that I'm small, insignificant, and also powerless. But isn't it true that I feel those feelings just the same as those who feel big, important, and powerful? My gracious belief has always been that life is a time for growth and evolution. And now, now I'm slowly gaining insight into the mysteries of my world. Am I just a small cog in the big wheel of time? Or am I a giant, able to move heaven and earth to create a reality that was once just a dream? Is it possible for me to take charge of my own destiny and find a way for elements to collide in harmony? I strive to make a difference. I have no choice, really. So, if this is what this it takes, bigger. then this is what I'm willing to do. Look at the shadows. Look at the eyes. <laughs> Every oh, beginning this is, is still small, as good as I remember. And rebuilding my once forgotten world is where I must begin. Even better. Even better. It's amazing that I stepped into this game before and it blew my mind, and I'm stepping back into it again months later with different stuff, and it's still blowing my mind. Shores of Loki. Oh, look, it's got a reflection style. A Puzzling Adventure by Mike TV. Fantastic people. Awesome people. Look what they've made. The controllers feel uh, bigger. Now there's four. And we're floating up in space. Or like way up in the clouds. Okay, so let's back up a sec. Hello everybody. Welcome to Shores of Loki. I checked this game out several months ago. It was still in development. It is now out onto early access on Steam and Oculus App Labs. But it is a puzzling game, similar to Puzzling Places, but with a whole lot more scenery to it. I don't, I don't want to say a story to it, but you'll put places together, and those places will then come alive around you as you're building it. It's, it's, it's a mind-bending game. It's very beautiful to look at. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right on into it and just take a look. Oh, wow. That is trippy. I do not remember that. Ha! That was so cool. <laughs> if you've ever played the game Trip, that was that was trippy as hell. So this uh this doesn't quite seem like it did for the very first time I played the first level. Life around you. Huh. 
interesting. Did they make this a little bit easier? one flipped around so that it gives you the idea that you need to spin pieces around. Intuitive. Very intuitive. And look, it's getting brighter as I build more of these places. This has, that's cool. This, uh, this is way different from the level one that I remember or tutorial that I remember. Way different. In a good way. They've made stride on this nicely. What do we have here? We didn't, we didn't have that statue before. The controls still feel just as smooth as ever. I love that feature. Whoa, that's gotta go on the end here, right? Like facing it. There we go, yep, that's it. That's our guy. We didn't have a statue of him before. Check him out, that is too cool. Oh, we got more. Yeah, this is, this is very different very very different from the last time I played it and I'm loving it oh my okay well yep that doesn't go there at all that totally does not go there and maybe maybe it will just set you aside for a moment look at all the little people on this one look at the little people you can get really close look at him look at this guy he's got like a is he holding up like a giant boulder or is that like his head? Oh, that's their heads, yeah. That's trippy. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So cool. Whoa, whoa. Stay here, guys. Stay here. I'm gonna keep y'all watching us work. <laughs> this is actually a bit challenging. I mean, that's gotta go right there, right? Yeah, okay. I did read somewhere that they added a hint system into the game. But I am going to do my darndest to avoid having to use something like that. Where does this piece go? I feel like it definitely goes here somewhere, but I just can't tell where. No. Oh, it is there! So this is a nifty way to bring you your pieces. This is a pretty big puzzle for the first stage. Wow, it was uh, like a handful of puzzles originally for the first stage, and um, they have pumped that up. Look at all the little inhabitants on there. See, look at that tunnel. That tunnel, you'd think, would connect to another tunnel. Something definitely goes back here. I know there's a hint guide, and I'm not going to use it. I refuse to use the hint. <laughs> I must figure this one out for myself. Oh, look. Here's the hint. This piece here connects to something. So oh, connects to this. Somehow. Oh, because I got it upside down. Derp -a -der. Okay. Alright, I used the hint system one time. We'll definitely not use it again after this. <laughs> Look, I got it. I got it. And one, two, three more pieces. Look at this little civilization coming together. And I got it with only one hint. Oh my gosh, there's so many pieces on just the first stage. One, two, three, four more pieces plus these three. This is going to be massive. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so huge. It's <laughs> crazy. Go? Yep, it sure does. How you like that? How you like them apples? No clue. Absolutely no clue where this piece is going to go. So now, bingo, look at this city, or civilization, ooh, 
we all revolve around this guy right here. Oh my gosh, there's more pieces coming up. This is gonna be massive. Absolutely massive. Bingo. How you like that? All right. Oh, sweet. Look how big this thing's getting. It is so huge. I am building you guys an eternal civilization. And you shall be eternally grateful. Uh -huh. Look at this piece. Look at the detail in all of this. I haven't really stopped to take a look yet too much, but there is so much detail. These were a bunch of pieces. The people are, are fantastic walking around, but there's so, so, so much detail in here. And it looks great. They did not have any of this the, when I played it several months back. This is this is all first impressions for me. Now that we've built the foundation, we can now. Yep. No. There. And this totally goes on top somewhere. I'm just not sure where. <laughs> About this thing, this thing's huge. Da -da! Look at this thing. Ah, hi there, guys. How's y'all's day going? So, we already put that little piece together, but now we just built a massive, and I mean, that was huge, massive little civilization right over there. You look a little bit different from the last time I saw you too, buddy. I think you've evolved. What do we got here? And there we have it. Chapter, chapter two is now unlocked. Chapter one is complete. This is the snowy place. Let's do it. I wanna to get to some of these other places. Bye, people. Be free. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy your statue. Live up to the world I have built you. <laughs> so great. Oh, look. I can see the city in the shadow. Or a shadow of them there. Wow. That was pretty impressive, actually. Oh, look. Walrus. Hey there. Damn, you look pretty damn good, Walrus. It'd be cool if you, like, wave to me. Uh, Walrus, look out behind you. There is a building coming out of the water. There are buildings coming out of the water everywhere. so cool. I love the walrus. <laughs> there come my pieces. Now something I noticed in the first level, and I kind of hope it doesn't do it in the second level, um, it used to put smaller segments together and then put them out on the water, and you could actually watch the civilization walking around there while you're building the civilization here. So let's see, I mean, I would think so. They've got the walrus, you see the deer over there? So let's uh, let's take a look. Oh my God, this puzzle gave me so much trouble. It gave me so much trouble before. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can get it this time. Is that going in there? No, but it sure does fit kind of close. Well, look at that. They're already inhabiting. We've only put like two or three pieces together. And they're already starting to take shape. Love it. Oh my gosh, but this puzzle, this one was so difficult. I remember, remember how challenging it was. And I do not want to use the hint system. Darn it, I've already had to use it one time. I will not be doing it again. <laughs> it's got to be, oh, look, there it is. There it is. All right house with roof maybe 
Whoa, come back, please. Yes. Bingo. House with the roof. And it looks like a pile of snow on top. But this goes on stilts somewhere. I feel for this particular puzzle, my previous knowledge of it is helping me with it a bit. <laughs> Just a bit. Because I remember this one took so much time to for me to get through it because I was having such a hard time with it. And, um... Bingo. Bingo. And I guess it stuck with me. I remembered it. Perfect. Love it. Absolutely love it. I love the the them being right there walking around. Well, hello, you're back again. Just popped up out of nowhere. Didn't even see you come up, buddy. Is that the end of level two? No. I didn't think so. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. The rest of these pieces. I'm gonna put this city together. I had to do it. I had to use a hint. It was inevitable. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Bingo. Gotcha. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you guys have the answers? No? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know where it goes. Where do you guys go? That looks so great. Wow. There goes the boat. Bye, boat. Bye, boat. Is my walrus still there? He is still kicking it. Still kicking it. All right. Well, you're going to clearly go here. You feel like you're going to fit in there somehow. But then again, maybe not. Oh, wait. Here we go. Nope, nope. There we go. Nice. Nice. This is going to mount down on top of something. And... I have no idea. No earthly idea. Turn this way. There we go. So the ladder gets down. And there we have it, our second little city in here. And it's gonna land right next to us here. That is so awesome. Every time I see it, it just blows me away. <laughs> it's so damn cool. Interesting. Okay, cool. So we get to pick level three and four next. And uh, looks like we're gonna have reset all progress, which is nice. One, two, three, four, five. Five more levels potentially coming to this game. That is so awesome. That is so cool. I can't wait to get more of it. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching that. This is really cool. This game still blows me away, even after playing it months later. They've added voiceovers. They've added new animations. The whole first world's basically gotten a, a do-over, which and it looks great. It's so big. Um, this is the second stage. There's three, and now we have a fourth stage, which they did not have when I showcased it on my channel a couple of months back. Really cool. This game still blows me away. I mean, <laughs> impressive, impressive. Wow, go check it out. It, it's available 
on App Labs and Steam right now. If you guys like puzzling places, you are going to love this one. Fantastic game. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll catch you next time.